Fishing is clearly a big part of your life. It's a big passion. So did it start very early on? Yes. And how has it become now such a big part of your life? Like, how do you? Um, so the very first time I went fishing, I was eight years old. My uncle, who's a big time outdoorsman, he loves the outdoors. And I'm still very close with him. We actually went fishing together this summer. Okay. And so he took me when I was eight years old into this park called the Nopaming Park, up this little river called the Rabbit River. And so my dad, who was not, I don't think, an outdoorsman whatsoever, my uncle convinced him, like, let's go on this weekend canoe trip. we got to paddle eight hours up this little river. We'll camp on this lake. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, you know, lo and behold, first camping trip, it's wind is blowing at our head. My dad and uncle are paddling as hard as they can. I'm eight years old. I'm just sitting in the middle of the canoe having a great time. But there's headwinds and it's raining and so on and so forth and kind of miserable to get into the lake. But then when we got there, you know, first fishing experience, we were catching probably 100 fish a day, just one after another, nonstop, just unbelievable fishing. And from that moment on, I was hooked. And so ever since then, I've always loved fishing, but really remote fishing. So you know, fishing on a big lake, like going to fish somewhere in a big boat, Lake Winnipeg with lots of boat traffic around and sailboats, that stuff doesn't interest me as much as that experience that I got as a young man. It's getting to these backcountry remote lakes where you can really enjoy wilderness. And I think, you know, the added advantage or the bonus is catching fish. And so that's, that's what, what I, I really say. enjoyed. Yeah, yeah, that's the hardest part about fishing is not catching fish, fish, right? Yes. Do you think that's what cemented it early on? Is like absolutely just hundreds of fish. fish. A day? Yeah. Had right. I gone to an experience where we sat in a boat all day and caught two fish? Yeah. yeah. To this day, I don't know if I would love it the same. See, and I have a hard time. Like I, I, someone asked me if I wanted to go fishing somewhere where the the opportunity to only catch one or two fish throughout the day. Yeah. I don't think I would like it the same as somewhere where I catch multiple multiple fish throughout the day right and i still go to that park like i was there last weekend with my brother-in-law and my niece to that same park to go fishing because it's still wonderful fishing you can still get into some of those lakes and it's wonderful so you're actually the guy that i need to go fishing with yes because i never catch anything <laughs> no okay ever that's what i always like, tell people it's I, incredible i have a long list of people that i i like to bring fishing and i go fishing with because it's a great experience right you yeah. you go out to those places there's no internet reception there's virtually no cell phone reception mm -hmm. and so talking about slowing down though yes it's an activity to get there once i'm there i slow down and it's one of the only I think activities where i am not the, worried the, about the outside the turbo world. goes down yeah just sit there have a conversation with somebody and catch fish and enjoy nature now you have two kids two yes how are you introducing them to fishing to make sure that it's a win the first time well we did it this year actually so my, really? my wife and i took them into go figure one of those backcountry lakes okay uh, i took my son twice so far i've taken my daughter once and so we knew it wasn't going to last long we just wanted to bring them into the boat have fun hopefully catch a fish or two and get out so the, yeah. the first experience lasted 45 minutes so it was a lot of work so hike into this lake hike all the gear in get the boat set up get in boat around a little bit we caught two tiny little fish they yeah. thought it was the greatest thing yeah. out we went and off we went and then we went back the very next day and did the same thing and they were actually excited to go so that's what we wanted right mm -hmm. they were more concerned with playing with the earthworms and looking at all the hooks and lures but just being outdoors we wanted them to enjoy that experience right. and so they did and then so later on the same summer that was in may in july i went back to the, the same lake with my son and then also my father-in-law so we went kind of like three generational fishing and this time i'm like okay i'll push it two hours and so we went two hours and we caught a lot of fish actually we caught about 18 fish the first day in two hours and about 15 P fish the Picker, second day what are you guys uh, those were bass and, and big pike nice yeah so my son got to experience pretty good fishing pretty early and and he liked it he was actually scared of the bigger fish but yeah. Yeah, he's, he's okay with the small ones. He doesn't like the big ones yet. That's actually a, an incredible lesson almost in there as far as introducing kids to things. Yes. Right? Yeah. Almost ensuring success yes. that first time, just so that first impression of anything would be that way. For sure. And a lot of people told me that don't go all day. Like that's the a surefire right. way to ruin them. Right. Pl plan an hour, two hours tops and get out. Yeah, yeah. And so the first few experiences have been very short. And so far they've enjoyed it and they, they love fishing, right? They love the idea and they have their little, like my son's got the Spider-Man rod. My daughter had the Paw Patrol rod and mm -hmm. they could cast with no hook, right? They just mm. kind of pitch it, reel it in, pitch it, reel it in. So yeah. they've had some experiences. They seem to like it. And I think they just like being, yeah. being outdoors too.